there tonight. Balfour still behind bars, but on the verge of being set loose. He has a court hearing on his parole revocation coming up. We'll find out what happens then, but right now police allude there is a second killer. To Michelle Sagona with America's Most Wanted, what can you tell us? Uh, well, I can tell you that right now, Chicago police, uh, they just told me this morning, Nancy, that they're still processing evidence from the crime scene at this time, but they are not ruling out uh, the fact that there may be other suspects involved. And again, as you mentioned, uh, Balfour is only a person of, of interest at this time. He has not been charged with any crime. So oh, well, even if he did this... Hold on just a moment, Michelle Sedona. Sure. You're not usually one to parse words, but isn't it true, didn't you just tell me within the last 24 hours that his car was spotted in the Hudson neighborhood that morning around 7 a.m. Then it was abandoned at Robeson High School less than a mile away from the shooting scene. Uh, yes, this was something that you did discuss on your show last night. And uh, his car was, in fact, caught on surveillance. And so, what Chicago police told me this morning, Nancy, was okay. that they have seen the surveillance tape and that they have reviewed it. They will not comment on whether Balfour can be seen in that tape or if someone else was driving his vehicle. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. You want to tell me that somebody else stole Balfour's car? No, I'm not saying that at all. Drove it to the neighborhood I'm not 7 a.m. That, that morning, then decided, gee, this was a great joy ride. I'll drop it off at the, high, at the high school. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that I have not seen the surveillance tape myself with my own eyes, and I can only go off of what Chicago police are telling me. They're doing a great job in this investigation. They're obviously keeping things very close to the vest because they don't want to make any mistakes. And if he is the person, which they have not said if Balfour is the person or not, they want to make sure that they have everything lined up so they can move forward with a proper well, conviction. frankly, on the other hand, you would think if his fingerprints or DNA or any fiber linking him to the scene had been turned up, he would have been arrested on murder charges right now. Out to Mike Brooks, former Fed with the FBI. Mike, what's your theory on a second killer? Nancy, you know, originally they thought it could have been domestic related, but uh, with, with the gang involvement with Balfour and the gang involvement with Jason, the, uh, you know, the deceased, you know, there is very much the possibility that there could be a second subject. Now, keep in mind, you know, the Black Gangster Disciples, of which they were members, that is one of the most violent gangs there, and, and they keep it a very, very tight uh, kinship, if you will, within the, that uh, Black Gangster Disciple nation. You know, there's a the whole thing about snitching on, on each other, and that's why you probably, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to find out whether or not there is a second one, but it's going to come down to forensics. That gun is going to be very, very important. Uh, one of the first things I know they probably have already done is taken that gun and used a, a fumer and super glued it, which would bring up fingerprints right away on that, and then compare the fingerprints, the shell casings that were found at both scenes, because we do know, Nancy, that this SIG 220, that's 45 caliber SIG Sauer, was used in the killing of all three people. Well, another issue regarding the possibility that the Black Gang Disciples are linked we do know that Hudson's brother, who is a murder victim, was shot in the leg uh, recently. He refused to go to the hospital. He was allegedly walking with a cane at the time of these shootings. Now, why, Mike Brooks, would he not go to the hospital with a shooting? Well, because if he goes to the hospital for a shooting, uh, the hospital has a duty to, make, uh, to call the police, and then they'd come out, and then they would probably uh, arrest him asked him what was going on, and, he'd be, and he, he's not going to snitch on anybody. And that's the other thing about this neighborhood, Nancy. When the shooting occurred, neighbors heard shots fired early that morning, around the same time that his car was seen in that neighborhood. But because everyone's so scared, and, and because of the gangs in that neighborhood, they said, hey, we're not calling the police. Well, what we don't I'm trying get to say is uh, about the possibility that the prior shooting to the leg is somehow linked. Was that some type of a warning? Was that some type of a, a sign of what was to come? Everybody, right now, Balfour still behind bars. He's only been named a person of interest, but I know one person that insists he's innocent. Take a listen. I told my son it was Julia that did this because she was upset because William had started dating another Julia. girl. So it's always two sides of the story. Don't make it seem like my son is the one that was stalking her. He went on with his life. You understand? He went on with his life. Well, he actually, nobody has said stalking. You're the first person that said that. Why would you I mean, bring they, that they, up? They said, uh, why did I bring that up? Because that's the way you all are painting him, portraying my son as being the, the worst scum 
must be perfect. You're asking me a lot of questions that nobody knows the answer this is to. What everybody no, 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 no. Not everybody. That has not been said on this show. So, ma'am, you need to get your facts straight because that has not been said on this show. I didn't show. say it was. I'm not you said everybody. On this. I'm not well, everybody. I'm, saying, I'm just in general saying. To okay. The public. Yeah, well, okay. let's just get that straight.